A grand jury has indicted two IMPD officers involved in this use of force case against two women. CBS4 cameras were rolling when it happened downtown in Indianapolis in May. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. And I'm Lindsay. And in for Debbie tonight, officers Jonathan Warlock and Nathaniel Shawwecker face multiple felony charges tonight. Here is video of that incident again. These two women, Ivory Westfield and Rachel Harding, claim they were walking to a car after curfew on May 31st when IMPD, IMPD officers approached them. You can see the officers hitting Westfield with batons and pepper balls. Prosecutor Ryan Mears did not by which of these men are the two officers now facing charges, IMP conducted an internal investigation and submitted evidence to that grand jury. They had to decide whether the officer's conduct was reasonable. In this particular case, the legal standard is, is reasonableness. Uh, and what better way to get a determination as to whether or not uh, someone's conduct was reasonable under the circumstances than to take it to the community, uh, which is exactly what we did here. Reaction to this decision has been pouring in all night. IMPD Chief Randall Taylor says in part, quote, I hold great respect for our criminal justice system and have faith that this process will deliver a just outcome. The Indianapolis Fraternal of Police added, we welcome a robust review of the allegations and have confidence in this process. CBS 4's Courtney Crown joins us now from the newsroom with more reaction to the indictment of those officers. Courtney? Well, Bob, police and community members express their confidence in the justice system. Some people feel the indictment underscores that no one is above the law. Today, a grand jury decides to indict two out of four IMPD officers in this use of force incident captured by our cameras. There is a process by which anybody can be punished for violating anybody's human rights. And no officer or elected official or public official is above that process. Dwayne Ingram is the president of the Citizens Police Complaint Board. This independent board gives people a way to report alleged improper behavior by a sworn IMPD officer. Ingram says the community, quote, wants justice where injustice has occurred. So the officers that were indicted, there is a, a direct punishment uh, that's attached to that and that's what we appreciate and that's what's important. Ingram also generally thanks IMPD officers for their service, especially during the weekend protests in May, but looks forward to this criminal justice process. It's important that we the community feel that once police officers have done wrong or has harmed the community in any capacity, there is justice. To be clear, an indictment is a finding of probable cause. The cases proceed to criminal court, where former Marion County Prosecutor Ralph Staples says jurors will have to look at context of the force used here. Was there a touching? There appears to have been a touching. Now the issue becomes, was that touching rude, insolent, or angry? and did it result in some form of injury? Get beyond that, was there something to justify the touching? So again, it's, it's a, a complicated puzzle. Now it's a waiting game. We can't claim victory now or we can't hang our heads or anything like that. It's a process. Well, Prosecutor Ryan Mears did not discuss what evidence the grand jury saw prior to making their decision. He adds that grand jury can ask for additional evidence. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News.